These are three contenders the government secured agreements with, all very different vaccines. The Oxford University AstraZeneca vaccine takes the DNA that contains the code for the spike protein that causes COVID-19 and adds it to a harmless chimpanzee virus that's been genetically engineered so it can't harm humans. The hope is the body recognises the protein and develops an immune response, producing both neutralising antibodies which disable the virus and T-cells, a type of white blood cell, which kill infected cells, both of which help prevent infection. Now, today, we've heard in early trials the vaccine does just this, and importantly, that it's safe. The BioNTech Pfizer trial is an mRNA vaccine, a new technology. It uses synthetic strands of mRNA genetic code which mimic the virus. Once injected, they instruct the body's cells to make the proteins needed to fight the virus. Initial results have shown that all volunteers from phase one and phase two trials have produced antibodies. But it's completely new. As yet, there are no mRNA vaccines that have been approved for use. The last candidate is being developed by the French company Valneva. It's an inactivated vaccine, a much more traditional technique. It takes the virus and makes it inactive, and this causes an immune response. But there are questions about how long and how strong protection would be. And this vaccine is at a much earlier stage. Clinical trials haven't started yet. The government has potential access to millions of doses of each of the vaccines, but they're not the only vaccines being developed. Globally, 23 are already in clinical trials, and experts say it's important the UK has a foothold in several different vaccine approaches. The government needs to back lots of different horses on this one because they don't really know what's going to work. We've never generated a vaccine that's protective for coronaviruses, so we don't really know how to do it. There are all sorts of competing technologies and pet ways of doing these things. Nobody knows which one's gonna work and which ones aren't, so they've got to spread things maybe a little bit thinly, but they've got to back lots of horses in order to get a winner. Now, vaccine trials need people to test them, and the government's calling for volunteers. It's worth remembering also less than one in 10 vaccines is successful. And even if a vaccine is found quickly, the race isn't over, and there may well be more effective vaccines to follow.